Okay. Andrea was playing tricks on me this morning. So happy Friday, everybody. Big waves to you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. How many yesterday felt like yesterday's mission by Diane Odom was really, thank you, Diane, for the word. Um, hopefully today we're going to do it justice. And this goes to Miss Kathy Roberts. Kathy from Canada. Yes, yes, yes. So did I do big waves? I did that. Okay, do them again if you want to. Do them again if you want to, right? We'll end this week on a good note. Uh, and the word for 2023 for Kathy is grateful. Grateful. And I'll tell you, one of the reasons I touched on Diane's word again this morning on mission is yesterday I went through the day super grateful. Um, and, and, and I put more emphasis around what I'm grateful for as we looked into the word mission yesterday. But I mean, if you look at grateful, it's feeling or showing an appreciation of kindness. I'm thankful. Um, and, and, and where I went with this is in going into this new year and going through this year, how would it help us to flourish, to grow, to, 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 to have more success if we started our day, if we started our movement with grateful, with just being able to focus in on being grateful? A grateful heart turns into a magnet for miracles. Think about that. A grateful heart how many times can you remember where you just were just kind of calloused over at the moment, that moment in time? You were just kind of upset with life or upset with work or upset with a human, you know? And sometimes you, it's, it's, it's hard to look at the things that we're grateful for at those moments in time. But if we can, then it becomes a magnet for miracles, Things, good things happening to us. Tony Robbins once said, when you're grateful, fear disappears and abundance appears all around you. And so I just looked at like, like what are, what are the benefits and what does people experience when when they're able to start their day, maybe listing a thing that you're grateful for, maybe just saying it to yourself. But here's some benefits. Being grateful helps people feel more positive emotions. Your emotions are more positive. You uh, relish good experiences. You improve your health. Like literally, scientifically proven, if you're more grateful, your health is better. You deal with adversity better. You build stronger relationships. Like all of those things, if we just simply started the day and went, oh, man, I'm, I'm grateful. Uh, my arms, my hands, my whatever it is, whatever it is. People who regularly practice gratitude notice and reflect things when they're grateful. Things like they experience more positive emotions. They feel more alive, energetic. They sleep better. They express more compassion and kindness. They lead with love more. But here's another one I thought. They have a stronger immune system. Scientifically proven, stronger immune system. So all of that this morning was like, everything lines up with, ah, Brent Palmer has got to start my day with a grateful spirit. And if I do that, man, there's just so many pros that go along with doing that. So wanted to share that with you because I'm guilty of getting up on the wrong side of the bed. I'm guilty of letting my this be the first thing I look at. I'm guilty of jumping up high anxiety for what I've got to accomplish today. Or, or that day, and literally look right over the things that God has blessed me with that I can be grateful for. 
So great lesson for me today, Kathy Roberts. Thank you for that. Andrew, I'll turn it to you. Well, thank you, Coach. That was a really great one. And the quote that I found was, the more grateful I am, the more beauty I see. And I think that goes right along with what you're saying. And it's so true. Like when we're looking for things, kind of like anybody here, maybe once upon a time, we're trying to earn or maybe you were trying to buy your first car and your first car that you wanted was a Jeep Wrangler. And everywhere you looked, you saw a Jeep Wrangler and you're like, oh, I can just see myself in it. Well, gratitude's the same. When we're looking around for things to be grateful for, we're gonna see things to be grateful for everywhere. So how do we cultivate that gratitude? How do we cultivate an attitude of just focusing on being grateful? Well, we can become more appreciative by practicing. So first of all, begin and end your day with intention. So when you wake up in the morning, when you climb in bed at night, list some things that you're grateful for. And I know we have talked about this so often. And I'll tell you, when I actually do this, when I take the time to you know, do that checklist in my brain, even better when I actually take the time to write it down, it changes the way I sleep that night. It changes the way I wake up the next morning. It changes everything. So begin and end with intention. Next, give what you're grateful for continuous attention. So when you're walking through your day, right? Pay attention to all the things, big or little, that you're grateful for. So maybe you have (laughs) a shorter line. Like you pull up to Starbucks and you you, normally there's 87 cars and there's only 85. So you're like, woohoo it's a shorter line today at Starbucks. Maybe, okay, this would be a great one. You know, you're making toast and the way the, the butter melts on it is nice and smooth and easy. A beautiful cloud in the sky, little birds chirping in your yard. Just think of the little tiny things or your kid walked down the stairs and they brushed their teeth before they hugged you is always something to be really, really grateful for. But the big things, just pay attention throughout the day of the big things and little things you're grateful for. Next is to reframe the negative. And we've talked about this before, um, but looking at some things that could be our struggles in the day, but reframe them. So if you think about when you walk in and your laundry basket is overflowing, You can be grateful that you have a home full of people, right? That they're all getting dressed and they're giving you their dirty laundry and you're grateful that you've got a house full of children or that pile of dishes, right? So you walk into the kitchen and you're like, oh my goodness, where did all those dishes come from again? Well, then the gratefulness comes from, well, we're all fed. We're all fed, so so grateful for that. Um, Maybe you're sleeping next to somebody that's snoring and you're like, oh my goodness, I'm gonna give them the elbow or her, it could be my sister is a snore. Um, You can be grateful that they're there and they're breathing. So they're, they're always things to be grateful for. You're sitting in traffic, you've got time to make one more phone call to somebody that you love. So reframing all of those negative things that we kind of deal with in our day can really help us focus more on gratitude. Um, Next is to be expansive. So think bigger. What are the bigger things that you can be grateful for, right? Our, Our heavenly father and the love of Jesus, your friends and family, our health, Um, The fact that you can move your body and still have a roof over your head. Take a couple minutes. You know, we can get caught up in the little, and I love the little, but take a couple minutes to think about all of the big things in our life that we have to be grateful for. With that is write it down. So we talked about that in the beginning, but grab that journal or maybe just your day planner and you just throw one little word in there as a reminder, you know, health or a new shoulder, that'd be two words, but whatever it is, you know, love, whatever it may be, just take a moment just to jot down one little word to have that reminder. And then lastly, express yourself. So share your gratitude with the people in your life, whether they're close to you or not. Kind of going back to what coach said yesterday, spread that love like confetti. I love that. I think that's so much fun. So, you know, thank your loved one for bringing you the cup of coffee. Thank your kid for wiping down the counter when they were done messing up the counter. Thank somebody you work with for being an inspiration that they did something 
that you think is really, really great. Thank the clerk at the grocery store for being there and checking you out when you needed them to. But when you express that gratitude, it helps not only you, but it helps everybody that you express it to. And if you want the last little tip, and we've talked about this before, if you want to live more in gratitude, I highly recommend a book by Anne Voskamp. So V-O-S-K-A-M-P, and it's called 1,000 Gifts, and it's an entire book just focused on gratitude. So absolutely love that. So thank you so much for this, Kathy Roberts. That was phenomenal. Thank you, Coach. And this was a fun one to study today. It absolutely was great. And I, I want to, as we end, I want to say this, because I was thinking, you know, with, with, with a grateful look and outlook, one of the things that I was reminded this morning is a person that's got way more wisdom than me once told me, if you're blessed to have kids, make sure that you take the time every day to reach out to them and tell them how much you love them. If you're blessed in, 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 to have parents still on this earth, Take the time to reach out to them and tell them how much you love them. If you're blessed to have siblings, take the time to reach out to them and tell them how much you love them. And I got to thinking about that and I thought, you know, I live such a busy life. There's days, sad enough, that I could look at my kids and go, I don't take the time that I should take. And so this inspired me today to go, man, Brent, don't lay your head down at night without taking the moment to say hi to your kids. Let them hear your voice. And I was reminded, I, I'll show you a picture. Um, there's a, her name is Misty. Um, when I was a teacher and a coach, Misty was somebody that I would love to step into her classroom. Misty was in a wheelchair and an, um, the most amazing student in the world. She had a grateful heart and she passed just the other day. And I guess it reminded me that, that you know what? There's people in our life, whether they're friends, their family, they're, 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 they're our kids. Don't, let's don't miss the opportunity to let them know how grateful we are for them. So thank you, Kathy, for this message. Thank you, Coach's Corner. Guys, this was an amazing week. This was really a good week for me. So I thank you for that. Um, and thanks for being a part of the community. Have a great weekend. We love you guys. Thank you. Love you guys. Thank you. 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 Thank you